So what are we doing today? Looks like we're transplanting all of these buttes. So much buttes. Seeding some things. Cool. So we're filling up these buckets with water so that when we transplant the green things, they have a nice drink. So is this one of the mildew resistant varieties you've been cultivating? This is a downy mildew resistant variety developed by Cornell. It's called DMR264. Cool. And what's powdery mildew? It's actually downy mildew. Downy mildew, okay. It's a, it's a disease that blows up on the wind every year, specifically affects this family of plants. Gotcha. And Commonwealth Seed has been developing resistant varieties for uh, several years now? Yeah, yeah, working on it for about five years. A lot of what we're doing with Commonwealth Seed Growers is to bring regional seed production and seed focus back to the southeast to Virginia mm -hmm. in the southeast. We're doing seed production. This is a, a crop we're growing to harvest the seeds. With cucumbers specifically, we do a lot of um, variety trials to look for varieties that grow better here and specifically that can resist the diseases that are worst in this area. Downy mildew and bacterial wilt. This is a downy mildew resistant cucumber and downy mildew is a problem in the whole eastern third of the U.S. We make crosses and do selection to create our own varieties. I might be making overkill holes. It's okay. Mars said my holes were very nice. I've been into farming for a long time because I like working outside. I like working with plants. It's what I enjoy doing. It doesn't even feel like work. Look at all these little plants. Aren't they cute? They got seed leaves and they've got <laughs> They're good. About 15 years ago, I was also got really interested in political issues around seeds and around genetic modification and around corporate control of seeds. You have a few large corporations that are really trying to set things up so that they control the seeds and farmers have to buy seeds from them every year. Mm -hmm. And this is a thing that's happening globally. You know, their business model is to get farmers to stop using the seed that they've been using and saving for a long time and to use their seed. Then they're just hooked. They're totally dependent on the corporation. Basically, it, it disempowers communities to not have control of their seeds and their food. Has it been difficult to do this work in a community setting where people are always coming and going? Yeah, it's so difficult. I mean, it's great also. When you're sharing a lot, you don't have to make quite as much money. We're able to make a living at this work, but it's not real high paying. So this is our combination seed storage and seed drying room. Mm -hmm. And we have seeds in containers, on shelves, from multiple different years, going back about seven eight years. Wow. This is South Anna butternut. It's our kind of our leading variety. It's a variety we developed. On our website, you can read about our research work, commonwealthseeds.com slash research. These are the seed packets here? Yeah. So this is our seed packet. This is a South Anna butternut for example. So we sell through our website, commonwealthseeds.com. We also sell some varieties through Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. Thanks for watching. This video was made with the support of our incredible patrons on Patreon. You can click that link in the bottom. We have a tier on there for Southern Exposure Seed. Southern Exposure is a different seed company in the area. We've got some videos about those, but if you sign up for the Southern Exposure, the seed tier, I think it's $10 a month. If you sign up in July, then we will send you some of these lovely seed packets um, and it'll be great. You can have some uh, mildew resistant squash. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!